Meanwhile, as we've said, flooding continues to be a problem in other parts of Florida. Jacksonville was especially hit hard. The now's Chris Welch is in nearby Middleburg, Florida, where people are still on edge. Yeah, the Jacksonville area really got a double whammy, so to speak. They had a rain system, a major system moved through and it walloped this area just hours before Irma came through. So the ground was already saturated. That made things even more tricky. So we're looking at flooding in downtown Jacksonville that they've never seen in years. But where we are about 20 miles south of Jacksonville along the Black Creek, they're seeing things much, much worse. This creek is normally a quiet, peaceful creek today, a rushing river. In fact, uh, yesterday, the U.S. Coast Guard had to be called in. They've rescued over 170 people, over 49 pets so far. This is a serious situation, and those rescues are ongoing today. This home is actually the home of Charles and Diane Mosley. They were kind enough to walk us around and show us how close. Look at how close. We're talking just a matter of a few feet that this water comes up to their home. They evacuated. They did what officials told them to do. This area was all under a mandatory evacuation, of course, being so close to the river. But when they came back yesterday, boy, they've seen this creek like they've never seen it before. Nothing could compare this. And I've been here all my life, 76 years, and I've lived on the water all my life. And this is the worst. Never seen so much rain in my whole life. Now, emergency officials tell us the Black Creek crested at an all-time high, broke all records earlier Tuesday when it crested at 28.5 feet. This is going to take a lot longer than usual to recede, they say, because of Hurricane Irma, because of that storm surge. So we're looking at maybe not until Friday at the earliest before things can get even closer to normal levels here in Florida. Reporting for the now near Middleburg, Florida, I'm Chris Welch.